I'm Dan Graber from Lockridge, Iowa. I work with Graber Services, LTD. We sell farm equipment, uh, part of which is the smart tail. We raise corn and soybeans as our main uh, row crop uh, practice. Uh, we are mostly highly erodible soil, so we're using uh, largely a no-till operation. And we feel that the smart tail works to uh, help break up some erosion concerns that we have even with no-till help the water uh, go into the soil. One of the ways that we feel that that was effective is that uh, with no-till we would have erosion in areas where the water concentrated and we see less erosion, less of that problem now when we use the smart till. The first we were able to really use it in the fall was probably the last fall when it got dry enough to uh, get crops out on time. Uh, we came in some ground that had not been planted and uh, followed with that. We used it in the spring um, because the ground was wet, for one thing, was to help open it to, to get it to dry so that we could get in and plant quicker. Uh, and it did work very effectively for doing that. We added this tillage to step in. Uh, in one particular field, it was uh, wet, really too wet to be in there. Smart till it, came back the next day and were able to plant it. Got a better stand than we had been getting with straight no-till. We were, uh, with no-till, our stands would sometimes be weak, especially if it were in the wet areas. And by coming back with the smart till, it aerated the soil. We did get a better stand, which is one of the things we looked for. And also, we were very concerned with erosion, and the smart till does help to reduce erosion. We are a dealer, and we do promote the, the smart till. Uh, customers that have used it for incorporation purposes and uh, is meeting their needs and requirement to uh, satisfy government requirements.